Welcome to Vinny's Talk. Welcome to Vinny's Talk. Hit that like button as you coming in. It's a podcast, guys. Welcome and welcome and welcome. It's Monday, man. It's Monday, September 11th. You know, God bless and rest in peace to all the fallen. We remember the, the people that were affected, the families we pray. Uh, this is Vinny's Talk Podcast, man, where we talk a little bit of everything on my channel, right? We talk, we talk true crime. We talk justice for Gabby Petito. We we do reactions. We do hiking videos. By the way, we're going to be doing some... Uh, I'm going to be doing some more hiking videos coming up. Hopefully before we get slammed with a crazy winter. Because I know it's going to get cold soon. We already know it's going to get cold soon. So... Um, you guys been seeing all my Taylor Swift reactions, and, and you know what? Uh, I'm very proud of doing these reactions because I've been wanting to do more reactions as I was before when I really didn't cover too many reactions. I was doing true crime, covering cases, and covering the Idaho 4 case, covering the Kylie Rodney case. A lot of mishaps in those cases We're still going on and crazy things going on, and we're still keeping an eye and raising awareness and justice for Miss Gabby Petito. That has never stopped. And I will continue to say her name and, and praise, you know, and, and raise her spirits because, you know, it's justice for her. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's very sad what happened to Miss Gabs. Um, also, um, what happened to the Idaho 4 in that case was, was crazy as well. And maybe one day the, the families will get justice, just like Gabby's family should get justice. And hopefully the case goes good. The court trial set to start, I believe, next year. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and, you know, you know, I guess bring the Titanic um, anniversaries in March. So we tune into that. You know what I mean? We're getting ready for uh, for fall here. Who's a, who's a fan of fall? I mean, I mean, I like the sweater weather. I like spooky season. I like... Uh, some some good scary movies. Michael Myers. Halloween was one of my favorites. Some people like Jason Voorhees. And Friday the 13th, right? Everybody likes Friday the 13th. But, you know, that's just how it is. Now, today, now, and forever, man. It's your boy, Vinny D, the Young Wolf. Welcome to the podcast. If you guys are just joining, hit that like button as you coming in. Um, Yeah, we're here to talk a little bit about everything. The weather. It's a little dreary today. It's fucking rainy and cold. I wish it would just get sunny already so I could go out and cut the grass because the grass hasn't really been growing so fast. That just tells me that it's, be, it's coming to the end of summer and fall is here. <laughs> Everybody's like, well, I don't know what to do. Well, what, should I put a, a freaking sweater on or should I just wear, uh, you know, should I just wear uh, a T-shirt? But then by the end of the day, you're freezing your ass off, right? Figures. I don't know. What do you want from me? It's Vinny D, the Young Wolf, man. Hey, anyways, so we got some more reactions coming up, man, you know, and uh, we're going to have some more podcasts coming up this fall. It's going to be a busy for YouTube season, man, you know, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I want to thank all my subscribers for getting me over the hump of 500 subscribers. Man, I started off with zero, so much love, man. Much love. Appreciate it. I'm Vinny's Talk. Man, you guys know this. You guys know this. Um... But, you know, a lot of buzz going around with uh, the heiress tour and Taylor Swift and uh, people comparing her to the great Michael Jackson, the great Beyonce. They're both great. But Taylor Swift is just greater, just like Elvis Presley is just greater than Michael Jackson. The Beatles, right? You know, uh, these are just my opinions and my thoughts, guys, you know. But, you know, when you got three to 5,000 fans standing in a merch line at a tent a day before the actual Eras tour starts. That just tells you Taylor Swift has a bigger impact in music than a lot of all these other artists. Not only that, she's a marketing genius, right? And let me get into this marketing genius part right here, why I believe that Taylor Swift is just overall better than and greater not and a lot of people talk about the impact in music and i'm not saying that culturally beyonce didn't hit it harder than you know what i'm saying taylor but i do believe that taylor swift hits it harder because she hits it out of the park she she has a diverse fan base and a lot of people are on youtube saying that you know taylor swift just has teeny boppers no she doesn't she has a wide range of fans men women 
um any whatever you identify as you know we tay tay has the fan base dude and i'm sorry I, I don't agree with like everybody saying that taylor swift only has teenagers as fans as only little girls and, and this and that and it's just like no it's not that's not true dude taylor swift has grown into a beautiful woman and we we as swifties as true diehard taylor swift fans and rediscovered taylor swift as when i say rediscovered i mean if you follow taylor swift throughout her career she has transformed herself dude 17 years think about it 17 years into one freaking concert dude i guess i man 17 years and she packed it into one show, the Eras Tour. God damn it, three hours. Excuse my language, Jesus, but three hours show, all different costumes, all this lighting, all these different like. And uh, Beyonce's got you know a lot more backup dancers and whatnot. But dude, Taylor Swift is a performer. I know Beyonce's a performer too, but come on, man. Seventeen years in a one show, three hours long, and you know impacting the game like that. You got people standing outside merch lines, not even the day of, the day before, three to five thousand people, maybe more, waiting just to buy merch, t shirts, and bracelets, and posters, and all types of stuff. Taylor Swift's impact on the music industry and just the music entertainment. She's the queen of industry. She's the queen of, uh, queen of it all. Taylor Swift for president. We should just say that now, right? Taylor Swift for president. The queen. Just call her the queen. There's going to be a lot of people hating on me, but I don't care. Taylor Swift is the queen to me. She's the queen. No one's touching her right now. She's smoking everybody. <laughs> Swifty forever, man. For real. This is a big issue. She's, she's impacting the game like no other. You know? She's up there with Mike, Steve, uh, Stevie Wonder, Elvis Presley, The Beatles. And people are saying that, oh... Beyonce is the only one equivalent to Michael Jackson. Shh. Shh. If it wasn't for Elvis Presley, would there really be a Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson's got the, walk, the moonwalk, one of the greatest dances of all time. But Taylor Swift has her glittery microphone and her, her beautiful voice. And she writes her own music. She's she's she writes her own music. She's so great, dude. And she's over the years she's talked about her life, what she's been through, breakups, emotions, talking about life in general. People can relate to that. And not just little girls, not just teeny boppers, not just you know all this bullshit people say. It's it's a diverse of walks of life, right? So let's get that straight, man. It's a legendary shit right here legendary anyways finney's talk you know for me to say that beyonce's better or michael jackson's better it's just taylor swift right now in her game she's in the essence era the beetle essence era of her of her time um she's doing more things taylor swift is on a legend legendary level right now guys i mean dude she's got movie <laughs> She's got movie deals with AMC. She's got movies pushing her movies back. She's breaking regular movie records. She's making movies push their dates back because they're scared to compete with her. I mean, what does that tell you, dude? What does that tell you? She's on top of her game, dude. She's, I feel like no one can compete with Miss Tay Tay. That's just a, a true Swifty at talk right now. We got the Midnight Zone behind us. Because you guys don't see it, right? You just can't compare with Miss Taylor Swift, dude. Um, the areas who were sold out, the amount of, I mean, culturally, you guys want to talk about culture, dude, Taylor Swift started when she was freaking young, man, 2006, man, she has definitely impacted the culture, you know, I mean, you, you, you can say that she hasn't, you, you don't, might not agree with it, I mean, I'm not saying that all these other art, artists didn't. Taylor Swift is definitely internationally well-known, just like Michael Jackson was. And he's a legend. So was Elvis Presley. But these are legends that 
you know, Elvis, Michael Jackson, they're they're gone and they're passed away. So the torch is passed. Just like Kobe passed the torch to LeBron. Some people believe that Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time, but not that's not me, man. I believe it's Kobe and LeBron. Some people are gonna be like, oh hate me on that. Oh LeBron, LeBron ain't Michael, whatever, man. Taylor Swift is the, the GOAT, all right? She's the greatest of all time. It's in my book, right? In my book. I mean, look at her accolades. I look at the numbers. Has she had this kind of an impact? What is she doing with 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 her uh, her career and her marketing base and how she does it? Like I said, man, she's her impact. It's not just uh, it's not just teeny boppers, dude. It's it's middle aged people, right? It's women. It's men. It's it's everyone. She has a diverse fan base, and for people just to be on these podcasts and YouTube channels saying that, oh, she's just got like you know. Little girls that are fan base. That's not true. What is true is that, I mean, it's a big chunk of her fan base, but it's not all of her fan base because she has a diverse fan base. And true Swifties are now, today, tomorrow, now, and forever, dude. You know what I mean? It's a Vinny's talk, man. Taylor Swift talk, man. You know what it is, man. Um, But yeah, man, I just, I hear a lot on YouTube, people talking this, people talking that, but I gotta set the record straight and give you guys my, what, what I think about it, because it's Vinny's talk, and this is what we do, right, the young wolf, man, we talk about the weather, we talk about the Titanic, we talk about true crime, we talk about everything, man, we talk a little bit about everything that I have passion for and things that I believe in and I love, so hopefully you guys could keep watching my videos like subscribe to all that man i really appreciate the love and support man because uh it means a lot to me it means the world and for all the haters and my motivators you know what it is man we love you too but <laughs> we can't uh we can't accept the hate though you know what i mean yeah man so like i said haters are motivators but hey if you guys are just joining this podcast welcome Welcome to Vinny's Talk, man. Hit that like button as you coming in, man, to the video. Like I said, man, we, uh, we're we getting into fall here. Hopefully, the, the fall treats us. We have an Indian summer because sometimes the fall is not that warm, but it looks to be a little bit mild in October. Wherever y'all is, hopefully it's warm for y'all, too, and you get to enjoy the weather because I like doing, uh like, getting out to the beach and making some cool little vids and Cool little videos by the next to the beach and the water and getting some cool little shots and whatnot. But sometimes the weather doesn't really cooperate. But yeah, man. Anyhow, like I said, man, before we we're talking about Taylor Swift and the impact on how she's so great right now and you know, how she's being compared to legends like Michael Jackson and stuff like that. And you know Taylor Swift is a legend already in my book. People are gonna People are not going to agree. Some people, like, there's a lot of people out there that are not going to agree with me. And and that's cool. That's your opinion. But numbers talk. The fans talk. You see it, what's going on in the movies. She's taking over the movies. She's, she's taking, she already took back her music, right? Um, you, you, True Swifties know that Taylor's all, the albums she's put out. And then, you know, coming back and taking her music back with Taylor's, you know, version um, just shows you the amount of power Taylor Swift has. She's she's a legend because Taylor Swift has changed a lot of things in the game, and that's why I feel like she has power. A lot of our other artists do have the you know power too, but not like Taylor, dude. Not like Swift, Miss Swift. She has a lot going for herself, and uh, I'm a big fan, and, and I just wanted to express that, you know? So... You know, we got a lot more reactions coming. If you guys thought I was done with the reactions, definitely not, man. We got a lot more reactions coming. And um, you guys could stay along for the ride, man. Vinny's talk, right? Um, but, yeah, man, I just want to come on here and talk to you guys. Because a lot of people were like, oh, Vinny's just, oh, he's not doing reactions. He's just doing reactions. No, he's not uh, doing a podcast. And he's doing a podcast. Because um, it don't stop, man. It doesn't stop. More Swifty reactions, more Taylor Swift reactions, and Vinny's talk, man. So thank you guys for joining this podcast. Hopefully we get some nice warmer days out there. Anyways, man, shout out to everybody, man, wherever you guys are watching from, wherever the hell you guys are watching from. This is Vinny's talk. 
And I'm signing off, man. Until the next time, you guys know what to do. Peace.